Well, good morning, guys. It's been a hot minute. It's been months and months and months. Um, I will do an update video somewhere down the track of where I've been and what's been going on. But for now, I'm just gonna come at you with a grocery haul video. Completely random video. I am at the point now where I'm just doing this as a creative outlet. I'm at the point in my life where I need a creative outlet. YouTube used to be, used to be my creative outlet and then I stopped doing it. So this is gonna be my creative outlet, this video here. No promises for any videos in the future, but welcome to my Coles grocery haul. All of this together was $340 for my family of six. Let's get into it because my frozen stuff is going to melt. I'm just gonna take them out of the bags. I'm not gonna present them nicely for you. <laughs> These ice creams here, I think they're like $3 or something like that. There is 10 of them in a pack. This is what the kids have for dessert. We get those every single week because they're cheap and the kids like them. Got some french fries for the kids. This feels so bizarre. Like filming after, I don't even know. It's been at least six months since I've uploaded. This is bizarre. I don't, I don't even know if I'm gonna upload this video because it just feels so weird talking about what, what I, I don't know, this just feels weird. I'm also considering doing a week's worth of dinner video, which I'll do this week if I end up doing it. But this is what I got for the dinners. Guess what we're making. Got some hamburgers here. It's really hot here in Brisbane at the moment, so I have to pop them in the fridge. Otherwise, they will be moldy by literally tomorrow, maybe the next day, because of the humidity here in Brisbane. So I make all of the kids' lunches ahead of schedule as well and pop them in the freezer. Otherwise, I have to buy bread every single day. I got some body wash for the kids for the upstairs bath and some shampoo and conditioner for me. I just get whatever's on the special. I got some toilet cleaner for the upstairs bathroom some garbage bags. Yes, I'm still using these. <laughs> I really wanna use the beeswax ones, but um, I pop, like I just said, I make them and put them in the freezer and I don't think that beeswax goes well in the freezer, so that's why I'm still using those. I got a lighter because um, and mine's running low and I need them to light candles. I got four loaves of bread. I get four loaves of bread every single week. I got this variety pack of chips for the kids' school lunches. Two heads of broccoli, a bag of brown onions, a bag of red apples, some potatoes. There's only three in here. I feel like I ordered more, but whatever. I got some bananas. The kids love these. I got some passata sauce, some creamed corn and some corn kernels, some tuna in brine and some pineapple slices, some pineapple pieces, and some beetroot, some sliced beetroot. I've never tried this before, but I also got some tomato chutney because I'm making a zucchini slice and I feel like this would go really well with it. I got some macaroni. Recently in this household, we have expanded our recipes that we make for the week. Are you okay? So you will see some stuff that I didn't used to buy in my old grocery hauls and I'm loving it. I am loving expanding my recipe base. Um, I got some maple syrup and some breadcrumbs, some poppers for the kids' school lunches, some penne pasta, some spiral pasta, some white self-raising flour. Now I've been trying to eat a little bit healthier and cut as much sugar as I can out of my diet because I was feeling gross and feeling like just bloated and blah. So I have a bunch of health foods as well from the health section, the health aisle or whatever you want to call it that I have really been enjoying. This is one of them. Shiitake mushroom, shiitake, is that how you say it? Shiitake mushroom crisps. These are really yum. They're um, seasoned, love them. These are probably my favorite. I love these veggie crisps. It's like all of these veggies seasoned as well. Also these sugar-free noshu cookies. I love these. These are like my treat after dinner. And then I have some snacks for Evie. Evie's obsessed with these melty buttons at the moment. And these cheese sticks, cheese fiddle sticks. Evie loves these. Talia loves them too. And these are Evie's absolute favorite. The veggie straws, the cheese flavor, loves them. They're like a dollar eighty each though, so it adds up. I got this variety pack of tiny teddies for the kids' school lunches. Some spaghetti and these K-Time bars also for the kids' school lunches. Got some caramello koalas for the kids' desserts if they don't feel like ice cream. And some LCM bars once again for the kids' school lunches. I got some celery and some baby spinach. We go through a lot of spinach in this house. The kids don't know that though, so shh. 
Um, I actually ordered red, what do you call these? Uh, capsicums, overseas you call them bell peppers. I ordered red ones, but they obviously didn't have any in stock. They've given me green. So we'll just have to work with that. I ordered one mango because they're expensive and I love mangoes, so I only got one. And a continental, is that what they're called? Continental cucumber, a continental cucumber as well. Now I've got this two liters of milk on top of the nine liters that I usually buy as well because one of the recipes that I'm making this week uses a lot of milk. And we won't have enough to get us through if I don't have that on top of the nine liters of milk that I already buy. I also have this little milk that I get for Talia because Talia is now capable of making her own breakfast in the morning. She gets up and pulls it, pours her cereal and these big milks are just a bit too heavy for her. So we have these little ones for her so she can make her own breakfast in the morning. She's loving being a little bit more independent. I got some bacon pieces for the zucchini slice. I got some hummus for my lunches and some thickened cream for one of the dinners. A head of lettuce and a bag of carrots. Actually two bags of carrots because we go through a lot in this household. And four of these corns, love these. I got some dried parsley, three zucchinis, three yellow nectarines, I also love these. Some mushrooms, apparently the world's smallest garlic. <laughs> I got two avocados as well, a little punnet of chives, three pears, Edie loves pears. Three mandarins, uh, Lily likes those. There's my other potatoes, for some reason they're <laughs> For some reason they package them separately, but it is what it is. And almonds. I've really been enjoying snacking on these as well at the end of the day. I also got a whole chicken for my lunch. I slow cooked the chicken and put it in a, a lettuce wrap. I got some Virginian ham for the kids' sandwiches for school. And some middle bacon for a few recipes that I'm making this week. I also got some garlic bread for uh, to have with pizza. I really, really enjoy these Noshu like brownies, iced Funtella cakes they're called. They're just like these little cakes that I can have as a sweet treat as well. Probably still not the best for you, but you know, like I said, I'm trying to cut out sugar. I got some pizza bases, obviously to make pizza. And there's three loaves of bread in here to add to the one loaf that is here separate for some reason. These are the best burgers that I have ever had. I buy these ones for Luke and I. There's only two in the pack. And I got some meatballs to go with spaghetti this week. Two chicken breasts. These ones are for the kids because it's a pack of four and that all adds up to six burgers and they like these ones. Got some silver side, obviously to make silver side this week for dinner. And 800 grams of lean beef mints. Go through at least nine liters of milk every single week. There's two pack of bacon pieces for pizzas I'm making. This isn't the one I ordered. I ordered the high protein cottage cheese, but they obviously didn't have any in stock, but creamed corn, creamed cottage cheese to have as a snack with like celery and carrot and cucumber. I got a stick of butter, big bag of pizza blend cheese and a bunch of little yogurts for Evie. She's obsessed with these. So at the end of that, oh, this is what my bench is looking like. Bit of a mess, need to put it all away now. Anyway guys, that's my random uh, grocery haul video very awkward standing in front of the camera. Um, this is the grocery haul portion of the video finished. So I'll just give you like a quick chat about my channel, just like a super quick rundown. So if you're not interested in that, just click off the video. But yes, I have been very MIA for the last six months. I've been working, mumming, focusing on my kids, um, focusing on my marriage. It's been good, it's been a really good break. Um, not saying that I'm coming back to YouTube, but I do feel like I need a creative outlet and this has kind of always been my creative outlet. I'm not a very creative person in any other aspect. So <laughs> here I am today. I do still keep somewhat updated over on Instagram. So if you want more frequent updates over there, head over there. I will obviously never be putting my kids on YouTube ever again. I don't post photos of them on Instagram or anything like that. That is still, that is still a decision that I will always make in the future is keeping my kids off, you know, YouTube and this and social media for, on public platforms because I want to protect their privacy. I have not changed my mind about that. I have been going great. Luke has been going great. Our marriage has been going great. The kids are great. I, it's just, I'm just in an awkward spot now where I don't want to be sharing any information for the kids' privacy and 
you know, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm sure you guys understand. Maybe a Q&A video would be a good way to get back into it to update you guys. You guys can ask any questions if you have any. Um, but like I said, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, back when I was posting months and months and months ago, we were to some degree relying on the small, small amount of money that I got from YouTube, which was literally only like $50 a, a month. We were financially relying on that, which is bizarre to me. Um, but Luke and I are at the point now where we absolutely do not rely financially on this, obviously, because I haven't been doing it. So I don't feel any pressure to post, keep a schedule or anything like that because it is, it is purely a creative outlet. Anyway, I have to go because Evie's getting cranky. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm really sorry if it's all over the place. This is my first video in a while, so I'm a bit out of practice. Let me know if you have any questions down below, if you want me to do a Q&A, or if you have anything that I missed in this video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to uh, follow this mess of a channel. <laughs> Talk to you guys later.